So we're here in the northeast of uh, England, tackling one of the really big problems we face, which is when you're digging holes in the ground, there's all sorts of stuff going on underground, whether it's pipes, electricity cables, and often when you're digging up one, you hit another, and that costs a lot of money, about 1.2 billion pounds a year. It's a huge amount of inconvenience if you think about all the roadworks associated with that. And also, it risks lives. There's uh, hundreds of accidents as a result of it. So what we're trying to do is to create one complete map of everything that's going on underground. So we're funding a pilot, 3.9 million pounds for a pilot here in the northeast to see if we can get all that information onto one map. And if we can get it to work in the northeast, we want to learn the lessons, see whether we can do the whole thing across the UK. So it's been really good today to be able to showcase the pilot that was originally put together in the space of one week, incredibly, at our Innovation Festival, whole year's work in just one week, where along with the Ordnance Survey and partners from all the other utilities in the north, we were able to create for the first time ever a, an underground map. And we proved that concept in the space of the week and since then. We've gone on to develop a map of Sunderland and we're hoping that with the backing of the government, which is why we've had our minister here today, uh, we'll be able to roll this out nationally. So what a fantastic achievement that will be in such a short space of time. So it all started at the Innovation Festival last year at the Mapathon, where we got together with a really diverse group of people, anybody who had an interest in things that were underground. We got together uh, and we asked the question, why haven't we got an underground map a single, in a single place? So we created one at the festival. And since then, we've used the simple maps that we, we created at the festival to come up with, uh, to use it as a springboard and create a map of the whole of the Sunderland region encompassing something like 140,000 properties. Now, today, we've heard that we get, we've gained some funding which will allow us to expand this map all the way from Berwick down to Darlington, uh, which is a, a really massive step forward. And we hope one day this will be a national platform.